throughout my study period, I had many times where I thought to myself, I should really record how I'm prepping for this. I should really inform my fellow medical students and just basically anybody who follows me. But honestly, there's not that much to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, guys. I'm about to go write my surgery shelf exam. Here we are today. It is February 27th. It is exactly 7 a.m. We have this unexpected like snowstorm that happened. Luckily, the roads are pretty clear now. How I prep for this exam, honestly, there's not that much to it. But I will say that having the experience of going to the hospital and having a very intense surgery rotation really helps put the questions that I'm reading in some sort of like mental image or perspective like and I can actually understand what I'm reading it's not just this arbitrary thing so definitely experience is really good but as for the actual study material UWorld the same way I'm going to be studying for UWorld uh, for step 2 CK is the same way I study for the shelf go through all of my surgery and I am questions it's, it's quality over quantity so I'm, I'm not saying that I went through every single question, but I went through enough questions to be able to get the main bulk of what I needed to know from IM and surgery. Why IM? IM being internal medicine, because while it's important to know what to do for as far as surgery goes, you also need to understand patient management, and a lot of that comes from your understanding of internal medicine. Hey guys, so I know this is some pretty obvious advice, but come early because maybe you don't want to pay for parking. Maybe you forgot something in your car so you're walking back, but at least you have some time. So yeah, come early. So really quickly, I just want to add NBMEs. Make sure you do your NBMEs. I was graciously sent four NBME forms online. I found the answers through a different website and I did those questions. I finished three of those forms. I went through all of the answers. I will definitely say that the NBME seemed a lot easier than actual UWorld. Nonetheless, make sure you do those. The next thing I want to say is, so I come home to, yesterday, studied at the library, blah, 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 did a full day, and my dad goes, whatever, in the morning, make sure you shower, you pray, and go in not trusting what you know, but trusting in Allah or God or whatever you want to call it for yourself. Consciousness, spirit, luck, whatever. And at first I was like, like I had a little eyebrow raised, like don't trust in my knowledge. Like what? But immediately right after, I kind of understand where he's coming from. I understand the fact that what he's basically saying is, it's not like you don't you forget your knowledge you know what you know that's it for me to be like oh i'm going in and like you know i'm i'm relying solely on the fact that i i just know what it is is good to a degree but then what happens when you don't know what's in front of you then you start to shake get shaky right it's like oh i i had all this confidence and i had all this stuff where i just believed and trusted in myself well I kind of understand where my dad's coming from. Believing in something greater than yourself really takes off that pressure and just says that, hey, I know what I know and I leave the rest to whatever it is that you believe. I leave the rest to that and I know what I know and I just go write the exam and that's it. <laughs> that's it, literally. The pressure is off. It's not about what I know and what I study. You did the work, now you leave the rest to whatever you believe and that is it thank you for listening and as always take care of yourself peace out and goodbye yeah.